Hey guys, Luke the Drifter here and uh, we added our new block, we got a little block of land just out of town so it's actually a uh, perfect spot to do some videos, we've been camping here um, last few nights, see a little camp up the back here, so yeah we'll be able to do a few videos down here and it's um, reasonably quiet, the factory is, uh, we've been doing a lot of videos at the factory over the years but it's just so noisy there, we've got to tell half the boys to stop work so we can film you know, so it's really nice here. Besides the odd train that comes past. And anyway, what I wanted to show you was a new shovel kit that I've been mucking around with for a while. And it's just turned up. This is the third third prototype that we've got. And um, yeah, so it's just basically a folding shovel. But it comes apart. Okay. And uh, it's basically going to be a little camp shovel. So I'll show you that. Also... We've got a little dunny shovel or a small shovel. That's really what you use that for is, you know, for um, going to the dunny. So I'll show you this one first. And it's it's set up there. It's got a really strong locking mechanism on it. Right now I've had a lot of entrenching tools over the years and I've managed to eventually break them. But this is a really good little locking system. So you can see there it comes down and it locks in place. All right. See that? Now, um, I've been doing this muck around here too the last few days. Pretty much I've been trying to break it. And one of the toughest things for a shovel like this is to using it like this, you know, um, like a pick. And I haven't been able to break this one or bend it or anything. It's still working really good. So that's a pretty good test. You can see how much I've dug out here. Um, a lot of the time if you're doing a bit of track work, you come to a water bar or something you get hung up on, you know, I know in the on Cape York and we went there with Richard we had to do a little bit of track work but using a pick is uh, is really handy to uh, you know for track work a pick sort of like that is so much handier than a shovel you know it's not so easy to do that but um, a pick is, is, is a way better way of um, moving dirt you know and uh, see so you got that angle on it as well I suppose it's probably 100, 105 degrees. If you sort of stand over it a bit, you can almost chip level. See that? So, it's just actually, I bought it as a four-wheel drive recovery little tool, but I mean, I'm going to buy one of these for my mum. She's 76 out in the farm, and this is actually a perfect, uh, you know, gardening tool as well. It's great for chipping weeds. Um, you know, there's a bit of... Uh, a bit of post polo around for example. Look at that. It's pretty sharp, just cuts through it. So look at that. Post polo is pretty tough. And um, it's a little weeding tool. You know. So we've got our uh, logo on there. That's stainless steel. You can see it's a bit just I've used it a bit. Um, quite a sharp edge on it and a nice point as well. This was originally one of those tools I got sent which was one of those like 24 in 1 Rambo shovels you know had inside this had saws and um, flints and all that sort of stuff had had a saw blade here a hacksaw inside here and a cutting edge here like a knife or an axe but you know if you want to chop wood you use an axe and if you want to cut timber you use a silky you know I didn't want to over complicated with a heap of features that nobody uses and it just detracts from what we're doing with it so i got rid of all those features everything inside here is all gone don't need any of that it's just all gimmicky shit anyway and we're left with just a really simple but really effective tool now i didn't realize how good it was until i started using it but you have a look at this this is clay what's this because it's fairly light i mean if you held onto this if you hold it you will see how the quality it's it's not light doesn't feel like it's going to break it feels really solid come in here to journey have a look from this way look at that so this block of land we got just recently had uh, kids with motorbikes and got some jumps on it. These are just motorbike jumps which I'm trying to 
level out, you know, if I had an excavator I could do it pretty easy, but I've done a few now, I'm just doing it by hand. But look at that, how effective that works, you know. Um, that's a bloody ripper tool. Now the other thing it does really well, which is shovel, so you can't do that with a shovel. You can't do that, that's a pick, you know. You cannot do that with a long handle shovel. The other thing you can't do with a shovel is pull it like this, like sort of a rake. So if I wanted to move, say, sand out from underneath the car, you know, you're bogged on the beach. Look at that. You can't do that with a shovel either. Okay. And now as a shovel, it's only a relatively small head, right? But that's fine. You can see that you can dig with that, no worries. So that's it. I mean, if you wanted to use this, can have a look at this screw on it, so it's got a really solid screw fitting on it, okay? There's no way that's going to break. But if you were going to use that as a, uh, a dunny shovel, you could. Right, no problems at all. That's basically an entrenching tool. And um, you go bush, you want to dig a hole, go to the dunny. Right, there you go, that's all you need. And of course when you're done, that's what everybody should be doing. Just that, all right? This is hard ground. Oh, you watch that again. This is hard ground. That's all you need, all right? And, you know, I'll show you quickly too. I did show this before in a video, but it's really important that people get this idea. All right, this is what we got taught to do on the cattle station. Done your business. So always carry a lighter in your little dunny bag. And it's all you gotta do, you know, when you're buttoning up your trousers, whatever, you can just do that. Now, the paper, because if that paper blows away, and that's probably what's the most common complaint of people when they're camping is toilet paper on the ground everywhere, and we all hate it. It's just disgusting to see. So that's what you do, that just goes very quickly to ash. And I mean, you're standing right here and you've got an entrenching tool, if it, I mean, obviously, if you're among sticks and leaves, you just clear it, always clear it a little bit but it burns so quickly to nothing. And then, like that. The other thing you can do, which you can't with a shovel, is exactly that too. You know, you can, um, just, if I'm gonna clear a bit of space, right, I can uh, level it, Look at that, it's a bloody handy tool. There's a small piece on the end as well. Uh, you can take off. Now, if this sort of gets to the stage where, you know, chipping in it, in it op and it opens up, right? What you do, you just hit on it like that, on the side, and that'll sort of lock it. To, to undo it, if you can't quite undo it, just hit it on this side, and it'll undo it for you, see? So, got a good thread on it. Now you can also, if you want, you got this small section here. Right, so if you're just using that as a little entrenching tool, 
on the tracks. Nothing wrong with that. Look at that. I mean, if you ever break one of those, I don't know. It's so good, it's so strong. You know, and look, folds up nice. I've got a couple of entrenching tools and I've broken them just doing exactly that. That's a tough little shovel. So, these are not cheap, these are not a cheap shovel. Um, to pack it away, Right, comes with a little cover. Right, look at that. Nice little cover. And I got this bag made specially. Right, because also the bag that it came with was another one of those you know, Rambo bags with a hundred other features. So I said, I got, got them to make this bag specially. Um, just a simple. Right, that goes in there. And this slides inside there. That's it, all right, so there's a small sleeve, small sleeve there, it goes inside the bag. Really nice zip. That's it. Well, it's not heavy, it's probably four or five kilos. Uh, that's it, in your car. Dunny shovel, entrenching tool, pick, everything. So, now the other thing I've got is a smaller shovel, which this one here. Now this works on a thread, all right? So, just obviously a smaller one. Right, that's something you can put in your dunny bag, or also, this is a new bag we've got too, I'm going to take some photos, put that on the web. Alright, you can use this as a dunny bag, good as well. That's our traditional dunny bag, right? And I think this fits in here, but well, that's what I've been carrying, right? Well, you know, that's no good, that's no good around here. So, it will fit in there, look at that, All right? Dunny paper. There's a lighter in there, everything you need. That'll fit in there really nice. That's a traditional drifter dunny bag. Um, or if you want a little bit more room, this is an uh, uh, 18 ounce um, whatever bag we're calling it. It's like really good for tent pegs, dunny bag, anything. There's a hundred uses for this. Uh, this is the 18 ounce canvas. So this is the off cuts of the uh, shower tray material. Because the shower trays are say 1400 square and the rolls 1800 lineal meters wide. So these are the offcuts. We're trying to find stuff we can make with the offcuts, and uh, this is one of them. So that's the 18 ounce, super strong canvas. Um, now this one comes with a little cover as well. I think I'm sitting on an ant's nest. So on this one, there's a couple of slots here. You need to line those up. When you, when you do it up. Just in here's a little slot. So make sure you get that slot right. There's like a bit of a belt loop. And you can see the shovel cover there. All right. So, nice little set. Now the good thing as well, right, this will also go inside here. So these are separate items, right? They come you buy them separately, but look at that. Right, fits, put that this way, so it fits in between those bars. Nice big zip, look at that. Righto, all you would ever need. And you know, I mean, everybody sort of says, yeah, you gotta have a long handle shovel, go camping, yeah. And most of the time that's for, um, you know, digging coals out of the fire for your camp oven a lot of the time. And, you know, I mean, you know, you got them on your roof rack and they screw, I've had the rhino screwing things, it's pretty good, but it takes ages to get them out. And um, really, there's, there's only one space you can use a long handle shovel, one place for it is, is on, on your, you know, like your awning or on your roof rack. And um, 
So really, that's a really neat kit that does pretty much everything you need. That'll do a lot more than a long handle shovel. It'll do a lot more. And nice neat kit, really the amount of times you use it, this can be tucked under your seat or whatever. Now the little dunny shovel again, all right, it'll fit in your dunny bag, your existing dunny bag, no worries. All right, so if we, we wanna go, you know, your girlfriend wants to go to the dunny or yourself or your kids, right? Um, end of the day, that's something you can use. So look at this, right? That's tough ground. Oh, that's pretty soft there, but I stood over here, so. Uh, this is tough. All right, having that little pick action. All right, anybody can do that. That's all you need, okay? It's a nice sharp little edge. You know, your girlfriend, your kids, everyone can do that. Do your business, put toilet paper in there, light it up, cover it over. All right, look at that. That's it, put the cover back on. You can also use it uh, this way, but I'm not sure if you'd really need to do that. But I mean, it's, this would be great for kids. Like if when Kaido was like six years old, he would love that. You know, he'd be out on the beach. He's even four, three, four years old. A little kid would love that, you know. It's got a um, little foam handle. So, I mean, kids love, you know, as soon as you can, kid, you know, can hold a, a little tomahawk, or a little shovel, get it for them, you know, show them how to use it. And, um, you know, kids should be doing stuff the minute they're physically able to, you know. Like in the old days on the farm, you know, as soon as the kid could reach the pedals, he was driving a tractor. As soon as they can hold the tomahawk, let them, show them how to do it, show them how to do it safely, you know and give them a little shovel and they can muck around with it. Look at that. So, nice little kit. Uh, again, purchased separately. We've, we don't have a lot of these in stock. The small one I do, the big one I don't, but they're in stores at the moment. And um, I reckon that's the ripper kit, so. Yeah, that's it. I'm not sure what else I can show you with that, but you know, also Mother's Day present, Father's Day present, Anybody at home, especially the big shovel, um, or even the little one for, you know, just around your rose garden, digging around. Um, that's a nice present for almost anybody at home. This would be a great thing. Like what I'm doing here, you know, digging like this, the only other thing I could use is, is a heavy pick. You know, they're really heavy. Um, and because they're so heavy, you can't, you know, you can get a swing, but it just takes a lot of effort. This is effortless to swing because it's uh, got a long handle and it's very light on the end, so. That's it, that's our new Drifter Stockton shovel. You can, we're gonna have them individually for sale or you can buy them together. Um, there's only a few in stock at the moment. We are getting a heap more coming. I just didn't want to order too many. Again, this is the third prototype and it takes a while to get everything right. But that is, I'm not making any changes. I'm gonna get a heap of these coming in, so. All right, thanks guys.